Hello guys, welcome. In this video, we will learn how in 21H, which is nothing but interrupt 21H works. Okay. See, in 21H is an interrupt, which is one of the 256 interrupts in 8086 microprocessor assembly language. Okay. There are four different functions of in 21H. Okay. We will look into all these four different functions. First function of this in 21H can be achieved by using these two codes, uh, first two statements or what I can say is instructions move ah comma zero one and int 21h this instruction these two instructions together will take in one single character one single character from the keyboard okay these two instruction together will accept one single character from the keyboard and store it in al register in al register specifically in al register it will be by default and you cannot change it okay remember that and always when you are using in 21h if you want to accept one single character you should use a h comma zero one this is the first function it has the second function is move a h comma zero two and in 21h by now you must might have understood that in 21h will look into a h registers value and follow i mean function accordingly okay in this case these two instruction will display a single character stored in dl register not al this is very important it will display a single character stored in dl register it must be stored in dl register okay it must be stored i will i am emphasizing stored because in other case in the third case the address of the uh, string must be stored that we will see later but here see it, the single character must be stored in dl register that's nothing but move dl comma for example i have given move dl comma 41h this 41h is the ascii value of capital a okay capital a so if I do move DL comma 41H, I have made this bold because this is move here in the third one. In third case, it is LEA. There is a difference. Can you see this LEA and here there it is move. Okay, remember these two. This, these two are very important. People will neglect this, but it should not be neglected. Okay, move DL comma 41H. So now dl has the value 41h move a h comma zero two and in 21h will display capital a okay it will display capital a these three instruction will display capital a this is an example this this will display one single character which is nothing but capital a these all three together okay and the third function is to display an entire string these two instructions together will display an entire string okay but there are two conditions which must be satisfied for this okay what are those conditions first one is that the offset address of the string has to be stored in dx register okay the offset address of the string let's say we are storing it in some variable called as x let's say our string is stored in the variable x okay if our string is stored in variable x its offset address must be stored in dx register otherwise this string will not be displayed this is the first condition but this is not enough second condition also must be satisfied that the string must be terminated by a dollar symbol okay if there is no dollar symbol in the string it will be a continuous loop so it cannot do it okay that means if there is a dollar in your string it will accept it as the end of the string okay the assembler will accept it as end of string it will this dollar will signif signify that it is 
the end of the string. So it, your string must be end, ended with this dollar symbol. Otherwise, it will not display the string. Okay. So you have understood there are two conditions. One is the address of the string must be stored in DX register. That's why this is an example. And uh, in this example, uh, we have uh, we can see that the address of x is stored in dx register, and the second condition is dollars. I mean, the string must be terminated in dollar. Okay, so here I have written where x is a variable, and the string ends with dollar sign. Okay, so this will display an entire string, which is inside this variable x. These are the three different functions and the fourth function is not usually used when we transfer 4ch into ah and uh, if we do in 21h these two instructions will terminate the program execution very similar to in 3h but we use in 3h more commonly so this is usually neglected okay so the three functions you remember of in 21h first one is to accept a single character from keyboard which is move a h comma zero one but i want you to remember that it will be stored in al register and the second one is move a h comma zero two and int 21 h and here you remember you must store this move operation must be done your value must be stored in dl register not in al or some other register it must be stored in dl this value will be displayed on the console and the third one is the move a h comma zero nine and in twenty one hatch it will display entire string and there are two conditions the address of your string must be stored in dx register and your string must be terminated the dollar symbol then only it will display the string and the fourth one is the termination the uh, termination of your program execution that is usually not used because this will be preferred this in 3h will be preferred more oftenly okay thank you